Hi my friends, welcome back. I'm going to teach you how the voltage travel from the power jack through all circuits in the motherboard in a real time using the multimeter and without schematic. So if you want to learn how to track voltages and understand how the voltage travel in the motherboard from the input to all circuits, this video is for you. Let's get started. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video. Welcome back. In the previous course, we have seen that the main voltage coming from the input pass through these two inductors, 19 volt in both sides of these two inductors, and then through these four ceramic capacitors, and then go to the drain of this MOSFET. And then once this MOSFET receives the control signal here, 5 volt in the gate, it will lead the 19 volt to pass to this side also. Three pins of source hold 19 volt. We gonna find here also a 19 volt as you can see. In three pins and also in the gate 5 volt, the same as this one. And then here the voltage will travel to the drain as you can see in this side because the, the switch is activated here as you can see the drain connected to, to the current sense resistor because the current sense resistor has a very low resistance about 2 ohm we have 19 volt in two sides so here we have b plus this b plus of course will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard so let's begin from the power jack please just stay tuned you gotta understand everything step by step so we have the power jack like this this is the power jack it has one two three four pins for ground so one two three four these four pins are connected to what are connected to ground okay and we have just here one pin that is connected basically here we have 19 volts Now, from this point, the voltage will be traveled directly to the CPU circuit, also to the RAM circuit, also to 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. Let's look for the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. Basically, as I told you before, for you, how we can find the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. So, once you check this path is good, the second step is to look for the 3 volt 5 volt circuit and check if 3 volt and 5 volt circuit is good or not because after the b plus the main voltage the 3 volt and 5 volt should be a pair without pressing the power button so how can we know the 3 volt 5 volt circuit without the schematic so we should look for inductors like this but look for two duplicated inductors here we have just one inductor here we have one inductor basically here this is the battery connector uh, we have to find two switches here we have two switches for battery connector serum capacitor inductor this inductor also should hold 19 volt let's check so the black probe in the ground let's check we have 19 volt good this 19 volt will be also here in the drain of this MOSFET as you can see so because these two MOSFETs and this IC are for basically the battery connector to charge the battery connectors these two switch here are in the input it's not for a battery but for battery connector here we have two switches we have IC and we have inductor so we have just one inductor here we have just one inductor we have one inductor for RAM here we have two inductors do you see 
duplicated, two duplicated channels, where we have inductor, two capacitor, inductor, two capacitor, controller, controller, two capacitor here, two capacitor here. Means we have duplicated channel, means this is the three volt, five volt channel, 100%. Let's check it, guys. So the black probe, the black probe in the ground, let's check this one. We have 3.3 volts. This should be 5 volts. We have 5 volts. Good. So, the step 2 is good. We find that 3.3 volt and 5 volt are present. Now, what is the step 3? Is to locate the BIOS. Where is the BIOS? Here we have the BIOS. The BIOS is always bigger than the MOSFET. And we have to exactly locate the pin number 8. Here we have the point and also we have the white mark means for beginner 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have to find here how much? 3.3 volt. 3.3 volt. The steep tree is good. So until now the voltage travel in the motherboards without any problem. After that guys what is the step number four? The switches, the power button. We have to find 3.3 volts on off button. Guys, please pay attention. Those steps that I teach you right now are applicable for all laptop motherboards. That's why I told you I teach you the process. Don't ask me what is the kind of that motherboard, what is the model. No, I teach you guys the process, the right process, the rules of troubleshooting computer motherboards. Please, if you find the video interesting and you know, please don't forget to like. My friends, because your likes motivate me to create more videos for you. And if you have any question, please, in the comment below, I always do my best to answer all comments. So let's check switches. Let's look for the power switch. Okay, we have we have one switch here. Let's see, we have one switch here. Let's see. We have 3.3 volt in this switch. So let's see other side. We have 3.3 volt. So this side should be ground and this side also. Good. So at 3.3 volt, but we have another switch here. Let's see. We have 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt. I don't know exactly, guys, the on off button because I don't have the laptop. I have just the board, the motherboard. We have another switch here. Okay, let's see. Basically, here we have to find 3.3 volt. Oh, 3.3 volt is missing in this switch. I thought maybe this switch is the on off button. Anyway, because guys, we're gonna study this motherboard from 1 to Z, means we see right now the voltages, how to travel voltages, of course, without pressing the power button, but we're gonna also press the power button and trace other voltages for the processor, for the RAM, etc., until we know about all voltages in the motherboard. So I press this button. We have LEDs, nothing happened. This button also, guys, nothing happened. Okay, so here we have another damaged button. Let's check if we have 3.3 volt here. We don't have 3.3 volt. The 3.3 volt just in in this one here and this switch also here. Okay. So guys, because I have just the motherboard, I will try to to search exactly for the power button. And in the next video, we gonna continue. Of course, if the power button is this one. The 3.3 volt is not here. We have to tr to troubleshoot why exactly we don't have here 3.3 volt. If is this one over here, means we press the button like this, nothing comes on here. We have the LEDs is not on, means we have problem with this board. Anyway, we have to troubleshoot this board step by step 
until the end and until is all totally okay right now we stop in the button this is basically the the step number four the, the step number four the step number five is press is pressing the button and trace voltages in the ram circuit okay in the ram circuit here in this circuit and also in the cpu circuit okay so guys i hope that you understand a little bit how to trace voltages from the input until we, you get the b plus to 3 volt and 5 volt voltages so please don't forget to subscribe like share and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page all links in the description and also if you want more unique topics information about short circuit no power motherboard how to troubleshoot how to inject voltage etc you can visit my website the link in the description so thank you very much and see you in the next video